I can definitely it's see why. It's very much not pretty. I can definitely see how that match went, dude. He probably just pocketed so, everything. So, uh, Taker plays Villager. I know he also plays Wii Fit. Uh, he played Fox in Smash 4 along with Villager. He also has an Isabel. Uh, yeah, also playing Isabel. So in this game so far, Villager, Isabel, and Wii Fit. Uh, I don't know if he plays anyone else, but... Uh, the weird character. We've only seen the Villager on stream so far. Uh, played a good set against Venya. Yeah. Venya won it, but it was it was close. Uh, and Sock Taker looks like he knows what he's doing with the new Villager. I don't think the new Villager is super different. Yeah, it looks like Smash 4 HD, honestly. You got Mystery playing Marth and Sock Taker playing Villager. The yeah, same characters are, they played. I think these are two of the characters that changed the least. I mean, there, there are some differences, and the engine just makes it functionally different. Yeah. But these like are Marth's two of the characters that didn't get any like hugely important changes, really. A lot of quality of life things. It's yeah. the tree. Which is even bigger now, apparently. Just Ooh. comes up and hits him there. I mean, trees grow over time, so I, that makes sense. Hey, great back here. That's from a good mystery. point. <laughs> I hadn't thought of it that way. You see him double jump over that Lloyd rocket? You know, like. That was really good. The parry into the roll through the last hit. He knew he would have had to parry again. We're seeing a lot of parries coming from really Stock Taker. I don't you know, know if the second one was intentional. The first one looked intentional. No, they're always Both intentional. Good. Uh, every parry There's no such Sorry. thing as an accidental parry. Let me tell you what. Just like footstools. Every yeah. footstool's on purpose. Oh, yeah. Anything that works in your favor was on purpose. Of course. There he goes. Got him off stage. Bowling ball. Oh, got him. That was good. He'll take that trade any day. He went for a gambit with that neutral B mystery, the shield breaker, but uh, it did not pay off. That plant, that, that plant goes pretty far. You know, you get tri when Villager trips on the platform, like, you got to look out for that projectile. Okay, up air, very smart tool for Mark to use. It's one of his fastest aerials. Dare Adder Shield is, is something Mr. E's using a lot here. That was something that you really almost never saw in Smash 4. There's no reason for it. Uh, down air a lot safer now. If you drift away with it, it's pretty safe on shield a lot of time. Oh, that was really good. He might be able to get this stock here. Oh, good spacing for Mr. E. Great drifting recovery. away from the bowling ball. And then the immediate jump. He hit him just far enough that he could jump and get away from the tree. Didn't want anything to do with the tree there. And a good punish from the Lloyd as well. And working with an edge guard. Try to get him just with the, one uh, of the balloons. Yeah. Unfortunately, couldn't get both of them. Looking for that stage spike. Edge guard opportunity for Mr. E. The thing is, Villager's recovery can be so tricky because he sends a Lloyd Rocket. Ooh. I mean, if you just Dolphin Slash him, like, good night. This was a matchup that uh, Villager certainly struggled with in Smash 4. Not to the level of something like Cloud or some of the other char sword characters, but certainly it was not an easy matchup. Uh, it certainly looks to be sort of the same idea where Marth can get to the range he wants to yeah. fairly easily because Villager's so good at keeping you, you know, at a set distance. But Marth doesn't really mind being at that distance, and it's almost within his strike zone, really. The joke in Smash Wii U is that Villager died to DLC. Oh, for sure. Yeah, because Villager Terrible was Terrible matchups with, uh, with uh, Mewtwo, Corrin, Cloud, and Bayo. Uh, the only non-DLC characters that really gave him a lot of trouble were uh, Palu and you know, Marcina to a degree. Nair out of shield. Okay, good. Mystery playing patient, but that's one chop on the tree. Just rolls out of there. Mystery is a brave man. He does that out of the Lloyd right there, but he got it on the tree. 72.8% uh, deficit when the stock is taken there. We'll see if Stock Taker can live up to his name here on the last stock of game one, though. Okay, just goes for the Dolphin that Slash to avoid the Lloyd Rocket. That was a good option. This is That's why this has always been a great stage for Marth in every game. Yeah, allows him to mix up reason. where he's going to land. He's got tons of platforms to play with. And your up B goes just above the height of the top platform, so unless you're already ready to punish it, yeah. very hard to punish him up being to the top platform. 150%. Ooh, that the back tipper air. back air. Yes. Didn't even need to be tipper, honestly. Probably not, but that move always seems to tipper. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So here we go. Game one, going to Mr. E, stock taker with the counter pick, and Mr. E, Mr. E's Marth just uh, speaking English. What is he doing, man? Like. It's, it's disconcerting. I, what I, happened I was to your culture, dog? I was saying earlier, though, I am proud of him. He finally learned. He finally learned English. It's been a long time. Cloud needs to take a book out of that, man. Like, all right, so we got Kalos Switching and Switching up Town. to uh, PS2 for this game. We'll see if he sticks with the villager. He is, okay. Sticking with this villager, too. I have to question that. I always wanted to talk to him about like his his opinion on Isabel versus Villager because I know that very I, similar. I heard characters. him last week saying that he thinks uh, Villager is a lot better. Mm -hmm. uh, just like overall, he thinks that Villager has a lot more advantages than Isabel does. But Isabel is like a but cute little dog. Yes, like you could have that. Isabel is also she's a has the advantage of being adorable. Yes, she's a pupper. Some of the Villagers are. I would have to disagree on this specific color. Uh, yeah, th this one scares me, dude. This is not what I would call adorable. Look at her eyes. That's that's what I mean. Is that yeah. a girl? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay try, it could have been a potential to go for that down air spike, but 
Going off. Mystery's having trouble catching him, but it does not matter. He's still maintaining stage control. Good air dodge. And the Uppy's gonna take it though. Oh, and Mystery, Mystery jumped back on that was, one. Yeah, I was gonna mention, life. he actually like, that's my favorite thing about Mystery as a game, as a player, is that like, he just like, he gets so into it. He feels those hits. My oh, man yeah. is playing with Rumble on, I tell you what. He really flows with the game and with his character. Plays entirely based off of like, how he feels, you know, what's gonna be right in a situation. See, right Mar there, good punish. Mystery capitalizing on his walk speed. Marth having one of the fastest walks in the game. It was the fastest in Smash 4. I don't know if that's still yeah. true. But certainly up Ooh. there. Cop that slingshot. His traps are getting set by Stock Taker. Oh, but then he flubbed it. Now Mystery stole stage control. Flipping the tables on him. Sweet Spot back here is going to take that now. They made back air a little bit slower. Also, Sweet Spot a little bit stronger. Uh, just to distinguish forward air and back air a little bit. They're not exactly the same move anymore. And he's just at 43 now. Just throw a tree at him. Don't don't mess with tree. Just pro tip. It supplies for, you oxygen, bro. For anyone, oh, there's a fruit over there, by the way. If anyone wants to heal two percent, yeah, very low there percent chance. There is no way Mystery's gonna go for that. Yeah, like I would. Even then, he's not picking it up. He didn't. Dude, he, come on, oh, man. He's not even focused on it. Let him do his stage control thingy. Oh, yeah, it disappeared. That's was, unfortunate. Was we see it was so not, rarely. Was not an optimal thing to go for. Oh, not at all. But he did walk right past it. The dash attack looking like an accident, but give him some room to breathe. 157% on Stock Taker. He watered that from so far away. That is a big old water right there. Psychic water. All right, 169% off stage. Mystery looking for an edge guard. A lot Ooh, of rolling on the stage. Roll. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the second time he's gotten away with that. Like, good up here right there. Yeah, that just, is going to take the stock. So Stock Taker on his last stock here. Oh no. Brave man goes for instant roll. Sonic, I think, flubbed that. I think it was supposed to be a short hop. Probably. You can, you usually, can cover that with up tilt yeah, pretty easily. You usually plant that tree so it forces the roll. And then he didn't capitalize on it. Maybe he was expecting a jump. Right. Or probably, you know, maybe not going for up tilt since it's not a percent where it'll kill yet. Yeah. But still, we'll put them back in disadvantage. Yes, there we go. Mystery. Axe would be ideal if you can get that, of course. Oh, air dodges right through the up air. Mr. E. I like the idea with the option coverage there. Up tilt just misses. Mr. E drifts towards the middle of the stage. Gets the super forward air again, spacing it away as he drifts back. Fade away. Ooh, he just like moonwalked in there with a grab. I really like Marth's new forward it. throw animation. It's the same for Lucina and a couple of the sorties. Sort of like push you forward with their elbow. They shove you, dude. Yeah, really cool looking animation. It's like, get out of my way. <sighs> Oof. That would have yeah. hurt a lot. But yeah. instead, Stock Taker is going to take the second stock there. That would have been the throw. set. That would have been the set. Oh, for sure. But here we go. Put some off stage. Off 123, stage. a potential ending of the game. Punishes the Nair on hit there. Mystery is so good at fading away those forwarders. He can make sure he gets the tipper swings. The only ledge option he's been able to get away with is rolling. And that is the only thing that Mystery is not consistently punished every time. It doesn't even give him the chance to mix up where he's going to land. Just goes up and charges against here. him. This is all of a sudden a pretty close game. And the bowling ball almost kills him. The Mystery in some troubles now. Troll now. The momentum coming from Stock Taker currently is out of this world. Gets pushed off. Sends Does the Lloyd Rocket. Lloyd. Once he Gets just away with rolling, and he had a Lloyd there to cover it as well, so good option that time. Has him off stage again. Mystery looking for this And ending. I think one really interesting adaptation, Sockhaker has picked up on the fact that Mystery is double jumping every time he Lloyds to wait it out, so he's just immediately drifting back to stage along with it so that he lands while Mystery is still in the air. But now Mystery, 112%, just needs one good swing to end this, but Sockhaker's not letting him breathe. He needs his double jump. And a sweet spot back here from Villager will kill at this point, but the up throw will take it from Mr. E, and that will knock Stock Taker out uh, with a very good finish tonight, though. Fourth place. So good job from Stock Taker tonight. Yeah, and made this game, too, really close. At 142 players, like, that's a, that's a, that's a big deal. Yeah. But Mystery's going to move on to Losers Finals to face off against the man who sent him to Losers, Venia. That'll be fun. That was a really good set in winners. Uh, they're hopping on right now.